very low down. Hello. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a room tour for you guys. I'm so, so, so excited to film this. Room tours are one of my favourite videos to watch and I've recently just got my room redone. I'm sorry about the awkward angle. I'm currently just like bouncing on the edge of my bed. Um, but yeah, I don't want to make this intro too long so that I can really go into depth with my room. You may notice that my room has pretty drastically changed from what it used to be and I sort of got it done, redone as like an early Christmas present from my nan and I'm so 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 grateful. I totally didn't expect it, um, I didn't like ask for it and I'm just so happy. I finally have my room done the way that I want it, I feel like it's really me and yeah I love it, it's really really personal to me and I think it looks really cool. Um, my room isn't perfect, it's messy most of the time. Yeah my room isn't perfect at the moment but I don't really think you guys will care if I saw someone. I've got mud all over my carpet, I can't swear in videos, oops. Um, I've got mud all over my carpet because I went in here literally just before I filmed my shoes and I got mud everywhere so I CBA to clean it up. Um, but yeah, that's probably really grabby, but let's just start with the video. Ooh. Okay, so as you open my door, this is what my room looks like. Um, this is what my room looks like as you open it and I'm gonna go through it all. Obviously, because that's what a room tour is. So first off here, you will see a chest of drawers and I've also got a, the exact same chest over there. This chest of drawers is from Ikea and it's not actually um, great quality. I used to store all my makeup in here um, because it meant I had a lot more space but it broke because it was way too heavy um, so my dad had to sort of like glue it together but yeah that's just sort of like the main basics of it. Then as you come closer here I just have a succulent plant from HomeSense. I have this little Buddha from Next Home with a little tea light inside of it which is a Yankee Candle tea light. I have a apple spice candle which smells incredible and then I also have a um, um, these fairy lights here. These fairy lights here, and I'm not too sure where they are from. They were originally downstairs, but I uh, stole them. So, and then moving along to the other side, I've got my film camera, which I love. I love um, the look of old film. And I've also got a Florence and the Machine sign thing because she is like my favorite music artist. And then I've got this gingerbread cookies handle, which smells like heaven. Uh, look how lame I was when I was like seven. Eh? Okay, so then you come on to my bed area and I get tons and tons and tons of questions from where these lights are. And they are just from Amazon. I think they're about 25 pounds. And in the new year, I'm actually planning to hang up like a mandala um, sort of thing around that. I think that will look really, really cool. I already have it but I sort of wanted to keep that because I thought it looked quite Christmassy. And you can also change the light settings. And now on to my um, bedding. Usually I just have like plain white um, bed sheets, but these were the only ones I had clean at the moment, so I just had to put those on. Um, this pillow here is from Primark, actually. I saw someone um, on Twitter had it, and I thought it was really cool, so I went and got it. And then whilst I was there, I also saw these two pillows um which are like the sort of like baby blue color and they've got sort of like a pattern design on them i'm not too sure if you can see um and then the two pillows behind them are from laura ashley and they're just more of like a darkish blue but i love the way they go together i've always sort of liked cooler tones in my bedroom but then i like like the warmth of the fairy light skin and then here is my bedspread and i have my phone there and my laptop um, and this bedspread um, was from Laura Ashley and I don't know if you can see I'll zoom in but it's got sort of like um, blue beads I got this the first time I um, did my room which was back when I was like 11 um, I used to have like an all pink room um, and then I sort of decided to get it darker blue and white 
and I still have elements of the sort of deco blue as you can see but I have definitely changed it quite a lot but yeah that's from Laura Ashley and I totally forgot to mention but the actual bed frame itself is from Ikea okay so now we're on to this side of my room I have the exact same set of drawers and I will take you through what is on top and I'm changing my curtains because they're so freaking ugly like I cannot deal the first thing I have in my drawers is like a plant and I got the pot from Ikea and the plant is also from Ikea I just thought it looked really cool the fairy lights are from Primark um, this Buddha which I love I love um, Buddhas I think they're like really cool um, sorry if that offends you I know it offends some people like I don't need to offend anyone I just think they're cool and um, this little Buddha and I sort of I liked his like stance slash posture sitting position I don't know I thought it was cool and I picked him up from HomeSense um, and then I have this jar which was full of cotton pads I need to stop swearing it was full of cotton pads but people will nick them so now it's like really empty and this was from an antique shop so opposite here we have my wardrobe as a lot of you know I store my makeup in there and I store all my clothes in there and I also have a chest of drawers in the landing which I store my clothes in because I am one of those girls who will complain that they have nothing to wear when they own like an entire shop so yeah, Oops. moving on. Here I have my lights that I used to film with. These were from Ikea. Um, I had a look at some softbox lights, but I didn't like the light they gave. It was too white and it was too harsh, so I decided to get these ones, and it doesn't pick them up because they're too bright, but it, they do um, shine a pretty golden light, and then down there, it's messy. I've got a Victoria's Secret bag because I'm a good person, and I went Victoria's Secret shopping for people's Christmas presents, and they repackaged the bags. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Moving on to the back of my drawers i'm gonna shine the lights this way so that oh shit i'm gonna shine the lights this way so it's a better light and you can actually see um on the back of my door why did i forget that on the back of my door i have a hat um i don't really actually wear this hat out very often but i found it once in a store in london and i thought it was cute I have my school blazer, which I'm not going to show you because then you'll be able to see the badge and you'll know what school I go to, which is weird. I then have a leopard skin fur coat. I love fur coats. I want to make them my thing. I've got a really cool fur coat for Christmas and yeah, I just love fur coats. Fake fur, obviously. Um, so I've got this like leopard skin one and I've got my big black fluffy fur coat, which I love. And this is from Topshop. Um, I'm not too sure where this is from because I got it from a vintage store. Um, and then I've got a leather jacket, which is faux leather, obviously, because I'm vegan, if you didn't already know. Oh, I'm so low down. So, yeah. That is the end of my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me what you think about my room down below. Um, I'm not trying to brag, as I said before, this is my room. Um, it isn't the biggest room. Also, it's not the smallest room. I'm incredibly grateful to have had it redecorated. I love it now. Um, and yeah, and once I, if I do any drastic changes to my room, I will definitely do a new room tour for you all to see. Uh, yeah, I really, really, really hope you guys enjoy this video. And also too, when I upload this, we are so, so, so close to 1,000 subscribers. So please hit subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video.